and welcome to this course in this course today we will discuss about the fadec plc programming as we have here um fadec plc pro fadec plc uh, the series of plc is fbs series and 14 mar2 is a type of this plc and ac means it's it will operate on ac voltage uh, alternating current so it's actually a type of this plc and um, as you can see here what does it mean the type means fbs is a type uh, uh, standard by fedex company and 14 means uh, the total ios of this plc is 14 the number of ios and what 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 does ios means here uh, we have in plc system ios means are uh, the total inputs and outputs we have um, in the PLC or in the system so that's known as IOS so here we have 14 IOS what does it means let me uh, clear you about this so here you can see from uh, it, 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 it is starting from 0 to 7 and here it's starting from 0 to 5 um, now its input terminals we have uh, X and it's our these are output terminals we have known as Y terminals so y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 mean it means it will the output we have is starting from y0 to y5 it's actually six terminal we have um, in the output side of this plc uh, the same here uh, we have is x terminals x0 x1 x2 x3 till x7 so it means we have total eight outputs and six eight inputs and six output right so the total inputs and outputs we have here is 14 8 plus 6 is 14 so that means it's fbs 14 mar2 right so 14 is ios total ios here okay uh, And in the lower side, we have uh, from Y0 to Y5. The, the lower side is output side and the upper side is input side we have. So, these are actually two lines. It's known as sync or source. S slash S means sync source. These dot terminals are uh, empty terminals actually so it's x1 x3 x5 and x7 the upper line means the upper terminals the lower line means the lower terminals right yes so upper line means upper terminals lower line means lower terminals so in the lower terminals we um, have here plus 24 out minus it means we have to connect 24 volt uh, which is positive in DC and negative means zero volt as I have connected here as you can see um, it's uh, lower side lower terminal side it's 24 volt is connected and zero to zero volt terminal is not connected so it means we have 24 volt here and we have to connect um, zero volt here these are our inputs X from X0 to X7 these are our inputs uh, as you can see I have connected this 24 volt to sync source terminal S slash S terminal right it's it is this terminal sync source what S slash S means how to wire this PLC how to wire uh, how to connect inputs and outputs what this sync source means it means if it depends actually on our inputs if uh, for example I have connected a, a from a means on X0 I have connected a sensor which is um, an NPN sensor NPN means uh, we have negative output and what P PNP means it's a vice versa it's opposite means PNP means we have uh, we have positive output we will get positive output when it operate when it energize right so what 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 npn sensor means npn sensor means when uh, it will sense it will energize it will give us a negative output right negative pulse so if i have connected uh, in x0 terminal a negative source 
uh, NPN, so NPN output, NPN sensors output. So it means I, I, I am supplying negative to X0. Then I must supply sync source to 24 volt, means the opposite of this inputs, right? I hope you are getting this. If we have connected X0 to X7 inputs, uh, these are negative inputs. So we have to connect positive to sync source, then these terminals will work. All right, this 100 to 240 volt will operate this PLC and this 24 volt will operate these terminals, right? So uh, here we have line and neutral, we can supply 100 to 240 volt here, battery is 220 volt, we have to supply, we should supply. As we as I have connected these two wires, you can see here it's uh, line and neutral wire. This center center terminal is for earthing. I have not connected yet, so it's very necessary when you are working on uh, the PLC network to connect PLC terminals, PLC earth terminal to earth wire. Now here we have some changes. Uh, as you can see here, C0 and C2 here uh, two uh, terminals we have we have here <coughs> what does these c mean c mean common terminal we have common one and common two these are uh, uh, this uh, it is actually empty terminal dot terminal so uh, what does it, it means it means if i will supply 220 plus mm, positive 220 volt in this c0 terminal it will give output the same voltage to Y0 to Y1 not the uh, other terminal because uh, in the range of this C0 uh, this common 0 in the range of this common 0 we have only Y0 and Y1 terminal so if we need uh, uh, if we have output of uh, you know uh, of an AC, uh, AC uh, current so we have to connect uh, to 20 volt AC volt here in the common port and from Y0 and Y1 we can get this AC to 20 volt when it will open same here as we have C2 C2 means common number 2 we can connect whatever volt we have here uh, or AC or DC we can connect 24 volt we can connect 0 volt here so we will get uh, the same voltage the same current uh, from Y2 to Y5 when it will operate so these are the terminals these are how we have to wire the PLC here we have a uh, battery on when firstly use as you can read here when it will open you you have to connect your cable uh, of Here in this port, it's actually a port of communication cable. You have to connect your communication cable from here to your laptop or computer. When you will want to communicate your PLC, when you want to communicate uh, or connect your PLC to um, its software, uh, you must have, uh, it's actually R232 cable, uh, so you must have this cable. Now this section is when I will open this uh, cap of this PLC here we have a switch it's actually a switch in, 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 in this PLC we have a cell so we have to open the cell uh, before we start the PLC right? before we start the PLC this button. These terminals are uh, terminals when we have another module, another PLC with this PLC. So, 